My name's Sandra Hill. I'm a Wadandi Pibbleman Menang woman on my father's side and a Belladong woman and Naju on my mother's side. I live here in Balingup. This is on Wadandi country, which is my bloodline through my father's side. I was six and a half when we were taken away from mum and dad with my two sisters and we were put into Sister Kate's home for half-caste kids. I was there for about three years. While I was there, it was such a cruel, hard place and very traumatising. We were marched into church every day. When we were in the church, I saw this amazing painting of this angel with her arms reaching out. It was the only beautiful thing in the whole place. So I focused on her to keep my spirit up. When I was fostered out at about eight and a half and I was given pencil, papers, colouring in paints, I tried to draw the angel because it was so important to me at the time. I just did angels for a long time. It really was what kick-started my art because from that moment on, I didn't do anything else. I think it was probably the first time somebody bought an artwork off me, which was way back in the 70s probably. And I thought, this is great, I could keep doing this. I was the recipient of a Australia Council Creative Development Fellowship and I've been doing art ever since. And the first exhibition I had was about Stolen Generation. Every family was affected by Stolen Generation in the southwest, in the Noongar community, the Bilbilman community. Nobody knew about it. They, they didn't know, you know, this Stolen Generation was a catchphrase, but it wasn't to us. And I needed to use art to put it out there. My heroes are the Bumali artists over in the East. You know, Fiona Foley, Brenda Croft, Gordon Hookey, Gordon um, Bennett. They were strong enough to paint what they were thinking, paint what they'd experienced, paint about what was not really allowed to be painted about. That gave me the courage to talk about the stolen generation. <laughs> I never could have dreamed of um, the red ochre. <laughs> I just thought, you know, when um, only famous artists get those things. I've had a very, very long fight finding my culture, finding my family, finding my community, finding my place in our community and finding my way from having it all taken away. I'm just so busy fighting to come back from the trauma of being taken away that I never thought of awards. I feel very proud for getting it, for being the recipient of the Red Ochre Award. The passion I had was to tell my stories, to tell my mum's stories, to share the experiences. I think it's hugely important that they do understand who we are as people and as individuals.